hey guys welcome back to another video um the next video i'm going to do what happened during the weekend and just some of the things that just how crazy it was this video is going to be all about the team we got up about twenty-two thousand rating points which is really good a did score 2227 and that was pretty good but it could have been much better and i'll i'll tell you why as well um we had laurie on the field he was a sub and we're going to take Baker's score, which was really good, but then Laurie <laughs> ended up playing for about five minutes to go, and I'm like, oh no. So I get copped a four pointer. Um, I still ended up winning, luckily, but far out. That was, uh, could have been up 50 points, 60 points, and would have scored one of the highest in the league. So just something like that. Dawson to 78. Not happy with that. But Dan, what are you going to do? You can't be too upset. Dacos. Would have put the C on him and you would have been happy with 145. Any reason why you're not happy with 145 is you're being unrealistic um, because, you know, you see Bonapelli with 182. Um, but, yeah, I could have seen a lot of people would have went the C on Dacos. Really, only 84, but he's been turning up lately, so we'll, we'll handle the 84. Michelini, 50 only. It could have been a bit more than that. More, more the merrier. Is trying to get as much cash out of him as possible, so I was really wanting an 80 plus this week, but he failed. Uh, Wilmot, uh, the cash is drying up here, so that's gonna hurt him. He's gonna start being on the chopping block with many teams now. Lucky Jones, uh, Liam Jones, only 53. So, uh, yeah, he's another one just creeping up in money, but not much. And Cohen, only 35, so he's he's drying up too now. Um, but he's a slow burn, so we probably just keep him. He hasn't made enough money to cash out. Uh, Bought a pelly VC. If you VC'd him, pat yourself on the back. You've done really well. Um, we all felt really good about Friday night, didn't we? We, we all scored. We could score 2,300, 2,400 plus. Uh, Lucky Neil, 76. He just had to, you know, he's front of parties. What can I say? <laughs> 76 fire out. Uh, McCray, 131. That was the Friday night special. Uh, Josh Kelly, 139. Very happy with. I was so right about getting him instead of Tom Green. Many people are now are finding out that Tom Green wasn't the guy that they thought. Um, I did say that preseason. I thought he was a little bit young, and I thought they'd go away, uh, use Josh Kelly through the center. And we got Parrish, 110. He had a big quarter, even though Essendon bombed out in the end. <laughs> the Bombers bombed out after being in a winning, winnable position. So. Um, Trelaw, 135, my pod. Um, he, 108 average now, so very happy with that. I started to get really upset. Didn't think it was going to come through, but he came through with 135. If he keeps doing this, um, we'll be more than happy. Holland's 60, so he's made some more cash. I'm pretty happy with Holland's, actually. He's scoring quite well. Um, Laurie's the big one. Cop the four because he, did a, he was a sub. Last five minutes of the game could have been a big difference. Far out. Thank you very much. Um, Baker 59 was happy with taking the 59. You know, even Liam Jones. I actually swapped Constable around the back line to get the Liam Jones score. I thought I was very... We've all gone for being greedy and trying to get 60-plus scores and because we thought 50 wasn't enough. You get burnt and someone gets a 20 or a 30 and that's all you need. Or someone gets injured and gets out early. Or you cop a 4 like Laurie. Um, the only other thing I could have done was just try and guess out of Baker, Johnson and Roberts. Who goes on the field? I probably would have gained another 15 points because I probably would have went Roberts. And that's another story, isn't it? Um, people got burnt with Roberts on the field. Uh, gets a 19. Um, how the Swans go, Gildan scored very low. Um... It was a really good game for me because I didn't have any Swans players apart from Roberts. So he still made cash, but he's going to dry up. Hopefully he backs up. I don't know how bad his knee injury is. I'm pretty sure it's an injury from memory. Uh, Johnson, 35, just creeped in there. Not really much. We'll probably want more from that. Uh, Darcy, 137. So Shrek is in form. He's actually helping us out. Marshall, what the hell is he doing? Can't wait for him to trade to Gorn. So we're all waiting for Gorn to drop in value, um, whether or not it's this week or not. It's just all about his break even to get under 120 or 100, and then we'll go from there. Um, Dunkley, 104. So very happy with that. Taranto, everyone's got 144. Zebel, 111. Very nice. Now, 
this this week mainly my defense line struggled this week. You know, Dunkley Taranto's he will all fire it up. So um Sheasel, fifty three, he was a keeper. Do we still keep him? I'm not sure. We'll have to um reassess and see his break even. If it's if it's really high, it might be even worth checking up to see how um if we could train him out maybe. Uh JHF, you know, Francis. 45, um, he's even lost cash. So he's going to be on my trade table this week. I'm going to get rid of him. Uh, F Green, 77, more than happy with this guy. He's uh, really scoring quite well. Van Ruin, you know, start a fourth quarter. I think he was on like 20 or 30 points and then bagged three goals. <laughs> so he was on fire. He was just uh, marking the ball all the time. And Davey, 44, just creeping up in a little cash. They really needed Van Ruin's score. That was incredible. In the comments, let me know how you guys went. Are you happy with how you scored? I mean, how much of a headache it was this week? I thought a lot of people would have scored sub-2200, but it looks like the average was about 2200 plus. So um, it looked like a lot of people actually got a few boosts in the last two games. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next video. Bye, guys.